Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to Dallas, Texas. Day one is behind us, and the Toronto Maple Leafs trading with the St. Louis Blues and swapping their 25th overall pick for a 29th overall, and the pick as well in the third round. Big Daddy Bob McGill, they get Rasmus Sand and a defenseman from the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds. Kyle Dubas, true to his uh, allegiances, goes back to Sault Ste. Marie for a pick, but for the second straight year, a Swedish defenseman. Well, you're right. Uh, it's amazing. It was kind of the invasion from Sweden mm -hmm. here in the first round here in Dallas this evening. Uh, no fewer than five defensemen go in the first round uh, from over in, in Sweden, but uh, Rasmus is, uh, you know, came over to North America in September and uh, had a terrific first year in the OHL. Uh, 12 goals, 45 points, made a terrific adjustment to the North American game in the smaller uh, ice surface. And uh, I think that he's got tremendous upside. There's no question about it. And a uh, big reason why the Maple Leafs, I think, are very pleased with getting him in the first round. Yes, whether it's Willie Nylander with the Maple Leafs or no fewer than seven Swedes with the Calder Cup champion Toronto Marlies, Sweden has been a good selection for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's go to Rasmus Sandin. I mean, it was nerve-wracking uh, being up there the whole, the whole time. And, and when I finally get to hear my name, it was, uh, it was awesome to, to hug it out with my family and, and friends. So, uh, yeah, it's, it, it was, it's an awesome feeling right now. What was your reaction to being taken by the Maple Leafs and, and what would lie ahead for you with the organization? Um, how I felt was like uh, I had a good feeling about being drafted to them. Um, I, I talked to them a couple times this year and, and uh, yeah, obviously to get drafted there uh, with all, all the fans and, and how the city is, it's, it's all about hockey, uh, which, which I really love. So. Um, it's, it's an unreal feeling. Kyle was just talking about how they felt comfortable with you in the interview process. What made you feel comfortable with them from what you heard? Um, I think the questions were were pretty deep. It felt like they actually cared and they, they wanted to know about me. So um, I think that, that was a positive feeling. And, and as I said, it's, it's right now it's an awesome feeling. So the draft in Dallas, Texas will continue on Saturday. The Maple Leafs with seven picks, including two in the third round, two in the seventh round as well. And don't forget that third round pick given to them by the St. Louis Blues as a result of the two-for-one swap with the Maple Leafs in the opening round on Friday night. Rasmus Sandin, a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs. We'll see what happens come Saturday. Make sure to log on to MapleLeafs.com and watch us here on Leafs Nation Network for all the latest comings and goings with the Toronto Maple Leafs. On behalf of Big Daddy Bob McGill, I'm Paul Hendricks. So long from day one. We'll see you day two Saturday in Dallas.